Hello everyone, Kenton Kavescu from the Rocket Blocks team here. In this mock interview video, we're sitting down with Darsh Thucker, who is a product manager at Microsoft, focused on the Microsoft Teams product. In this particular mock interview video, we are sitting down and asking him a classic technical question, which is explain an API to a non-technical person like your grandfather or your grandmother. So let's go ahead and see Darsh's take on this. Let's go ahead and get started. And so the first question I've got for you, Darsh, is imagine that you were sitting down with your grandfather or someone else in your family of, of the older generation, and they're trying to understand what you do and all the crazy stuff that happens in the tech world. And they say, hey, you know, Darsh, what is, I heard about an API. Like, what is it? Like, how would you explain the concept of an API to someone uh, older like your grandfather? Mm -hmm. That's a good question because uh, that is something I've often even faced because uh, my grandfather used to be very tech, tech savvy. Like mm -hmm. he was actually the one who introduced me to the world of computers when I was really young. Oh, wow. So awesome. Once I grew up, he often used to ask me questions regarding that. So uh, let's see. So basically, if I had to explain my grandfather what the API is, um, first of all, uh, I hope I know the meaning of API correctly. <laughs> so as far as I know, uh, API is something uh, that a lot of uh, backend software systems use in order okay. to communicate uh, with each other. And I think the full form is application programming uh, interface. Mm -hmm. So basically, it would be used by system X to communicate with system Y and create an um, region where they could exchange information that could help either one or both the systems. Okay. So that's my understanding of what an API is. Um, is that correct on your end? Uh, that's pretty consistent with my understanding. Yep. Okay. So um, if I had to explain it to my grandfather, um, I think I would try to go in the context of something he's super familiar with. Mm. So in my case, um, I would try to explain him it, this in terms of weddings. Okay. And the reason I say this is uh, when you think about a wedding, there are a lot of things that you need to get done. Okay. Like you need to take care of catering, you need to take care of decorations, you need to take care of inviting guests. So there are like certain tasks that you have to do. Now, a um, lot of people these days, and I think even earlier, um, have somebody organize uh, the wedding for them. Because obviously, if you are the bride or groom, you would like to enjoy the wedding rather than yeah. take a lot of stress. Mm -hmm. So... How I would explain my grandfather is, uh, is basically when you tell the event organizer that you want the food at the wedding to be the way it is, then what that event organizer will do is basically it would call up the caterer and explain your requirements to the caterer. The caterer in exchange will explain their um, charges or whatever it is uh, in response or they, yeah. maybe just a heads up and tell it to the event organizer. And the event organizer, in turn, would just let you know that, okay, this is the response I got. And that's how the communication goes. Mm. Now, that communication that the caterer and the event organizer do, the method that they do, that in the computer world is called an API. So, ah, the exchange of information you do, like the event organizer will do with the caterer, the event organizer will do, it, do with the decoration person. He will do with the person who's handling the invitation list. So basically through this one event organizer, you are getting several tasks done. So that event organizer can be seen as somebody who is playing the role of an API. So he's calling different systems and getting the work done. So that is how uh, an API works in the computer world. Got it. You give a computer an instruction and it goes to several other places and gets the information it needs for you. Okay. And tell me why, like a little bit just, like why is that important that someone actually like plays this role? Like what is, why can't the computer just go get all that information, you know, itself? I mean, the computer is, uh, are programmed in that way so that it creates a more seamless experience overall. So if imagine that uh, the computer had to do this by self, uh, the processing power that you might have 
which in this example might be the availability of bride or groom who is having the wedding they'll have to go all the places and do this mm. and in turn they would lose their concentration lose their in terms of computer processing power so in exchange you have things like api which makes it easier to uniformly communicate with everyone so imagine if you had a different person communicate with everyone they'd have to start from scratch but because there is a method that this event organizer has worked with all of these people before mm-hmm. and these people also know how the event organizer works it becomes easier for them to communicate like they know each other's standards they know how the industry works in the same way apis are used as a industry standard so every entity that is designed or programmed in the back end world they are designed by through some standards and the uniform it is the easier it is to communicate Got it. Okay, so you're saying the real benefit here in the wedding example is that the event organizer knows how to work with say the caterer and maybe individual restaurants and they have a process for doing that and your your grandfather or whoever is sort of organizing the event can just say to the event organizer, "Hey, make sure that this particular type of food shows up." And they don't need to know all the rest of the details. Yes, exactly. Because um, at the end if you explain somebody with uh, the things they are familiar with it's easier to understand or at least grasp the concept and then maybe i can go into details of what it actually does in the computer world if uh, he would be interested got it okay great that sounds good great answer